Ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Se mojaron. Hi, Ceci. How are you, Ceci? How are you? Back in action. Good night. How are you, teacher? No, no. El saludo es good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. El despido es good night. Good evening is el saludo. Okay. Y good night is el despido. Repeat. Good evening. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. Good night. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yo me mojé un poco. Aquí en Escalón está lloviendo perros y gatos. Por eso me tardé un poquito más. Y ahorita después de clase me tengo que ir a bañar porque estoy con agua lluvida. No, pero yo soy soldado, yo la aguanto, no hay problema. Pues sí. Un poquito de chocolate, no se derrite en, el, en la lluvia. ¿verdad? No se derrite. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. ¿Quién me puede decir qué estuvimos conversando el día de ayer? ¿Qué se acuerdan? ¿Qué vimos? What do you remember? The imperative is more. That's right. Also imperative. That is correct. Imperatives. Can you give me some examples? Um, take a pills. Okay. No drink cold, no drink cold drinks. That's right. Do your homework. Do your homework. Excellent. So, de tarea les había quedado la actividad esta, la 2.9 knowledge check. Esta les había quedado. So, we're going to do it right now. Eh, número uno, Carlos Méndez. Number one, Carlos Méndez. Uh, chicos, los que tienen webcam, por favor, eh, si pueden activar su webcam para no estar viendo este montón de cuadros negros. Como que, da okay. más, como que da más confianza hablar con la persona que está sentada allí. Si sí pueden, ¿verdad? Si sí pueden. Los que no pueden, pues ni modo, no pueden. Pero si pueden, es bueno que active su camarita para que podamos ver su carita guapa y, y bella. Ok, ahí estamos. Los que pueden. All right, uh, go ahead. Number one, please. Number one, please. Teacher, yo todavía no voy por esa, por esa. Eh, ok. Esa uh, ¿Por qué sección va usted? No, ahorita voy por la 1.9. Uh, uh, amigo, ok. Necesitamos ponerlo al día, Carlos Méndez. Eh, hágame un favor, David, buen día. ¿En qué sección va usted, David? Buen día. Um, 2.9. 2.9, ok, hágame un gran favor, eh, escríbale a Carlos Méndez al WhatsApp, eh, mándale un WhatsApp privado y por favor ayúdenme a ponerlo al día, por favor, please. Ok. All right, Carla, Carla Mejía, number one, please. Carla Mejía, number one, please. Ok, eh, eh, pero que no veo, no veo la lista. Ah, ok, aquí la estoy proyectando yo. Call, stay, don't go, don't drink, see, take, don't worry, don't eat. See a dentist. See a dentist. Very good. Number, David Buendia, number two. Uh, don't worry too much. Don't drink too much. Don't worry too much. Okay. Number three, Lydia. Stay to ask, ask him. All right, take, take an aspirin. Thank you. Uh, Ceci, number four, Ceci. <coughs> Repeat, please. Eh, no se le escucha, Ceci. Ok, vamos con Angel, número cuatro, Angel. Oh, sí, me escucha, teacher. sí, sí, ahora sí, Ceci. Dima, dígame, Ceci. Don't go to school. Eh, mm, 
Y ese es un buen consejo. Don't go to school. <risa> ¿Ah? Eh, tal, vez, tal vez estaba lloviendo, teacher. Ah, ok. Vas. Ok, ok, ok. Sí, esa está un poco rara. Déjenme ver algo rapidito, guys. Quiero ver. Give me one second. ¿Qué número es esa? Cuatro. Cuatro es... Don't go to school, qué raro. Don't go to school. Eso sí está raro, pero ¿por qué no maybe, va a la escuela? Maybe, o sea, maybe, maybe he, she needs a rest. A job. A ok, maybe they need a job. En vez de, en vez de ir a la escuela, que pues, se ponga a trabajar, no, tal vez eso lo quiere school. decir, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque está diciendo don't go to school. O sea, el consejo sería go to school. Ok, no nos vamos a trabar acá. Number five. It's ok. Number five. Let me see. Number five is Mario Moran. Number five. Mario Moran. Number five. Don't drink coffee. Okay, don't drink coffee in bed. Don't drink in bed. Okay, maybe. Don't drink in bed. All right, the next one is uh, Doris, number six, please. Doris, number six, please. Karen Chavez dice que no se escucha nada. Alguien le puede ayudar a Karen, por favor. Doris, number six, please. Doris, number six. Estoy bien, teacher, porque no, no estuve en la clase de ayer. Ah, ok. No All right. hecho, pero... Ok, alguien que le pueda ayudar a Doris, number six. Alguien que le pueda ayudar a Doris, number six. See a doctor. See a doctor. Very good, David. Number seven, please. Elmer Mixco. Uh, don't, don't, don't drink coffee, teacher. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Excellent. And the next one is going to be Miss Leticia Mendez. Leticia Mendez. Si puede poner su cámara, póngala por favor, porque... Están viendo estos cuadros, no se ve bien. All right. ¿Quién tiene, ¿quién tiene la ocho? Don't eat any candy. Excellent. Don't eat any candy. ¿Quién dijo eso? Angel. Angel. Angel, good job. Don't eat any candy. Oh, ok, aquí dice don't drink in bed, sería don't eat in bed, ok, tal vez a ver así. Tampoco, ok. Stay in bed, in bed. Stay in bed, si estás enfermo, stay in bed, ok, that's good. Eh, don't drink too much, sería don't worry too much. Don't worry. All right, a dentist, that is sería call a dentist. All right, okay, repeat please. Call a dentist. Repeat please. Call a dentist. Call a dentist. All right, the next one, don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. All right, the next one the next is uh, take an aspirin. Take, take, an aspirin. take two aspirins. Two aspirins. Don't, go two aspirins. Go Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Go to school. Esa ahí sí, realmente yo no estoy muy de acuerdo con esa porque yo no le diera un consejo a una persona así. Tal vez si está enfermo, vea. Don't go to school si está enfermo. Pero por lo Está general. Lloviendo, por eso. Ah, okay, okay, okay. The next one is stay in bed. Stay in bed. Ay, tan linda. Stay, stay in bed. bed. 
La niña está aprendiendo sí, inglés. Stay in, bed. Stay in bed. Stay in bed. All right. See a doctor. 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 Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Okay, quiero que todos pronuncien, por favor. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. Don't eat any candy. All right, good job. Any questions? Any questions? Questions, no. questions. No. Oh, all right. We're going to no. section 2.10, uh, 2 lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss an article about how to improve your health. Yes. Additionally, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. Al final de esta clase, ustedes leerán y discutirán un artículo acerca de cómo mejorar la salud. Adicionalmente, desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura y la diplomacia detección de ideas principales. Are you ready? All right, 10 simple ways to improve your health. 10 maneras básicas para mejorar tu salud. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. All right, ladies and gentlemen, any questions on this vocabulary? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre este vocabulario, el significado de alguna palabra o la pronunciación correcta? Buen provecho, Ada. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta o consulta sobre este ejercicio, sobre la lectura? Dígame, Leticia. Levantó la mano alguien. David, buen día. Dígame, David. Yes. Uh, floss. Uh, la tres, en la sentencia tres. Uh, floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. Eight. Quiere decir, pasa el hilo dental. Floss okay. your teeth. Pasa el hilo dental. Ok. Thank you. Right. Ok. Good, good question, David. ¿Alguien más tiene otra pregunta? ¿Alguien más tiene otra pregunta? All 
Ok, nadie más tiene otra pregunta, está bueno. All right. Protect your skin. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to work right here on the platform. And we're going to go where it says Añadir Publicación. Aquí va a escribir su nombre. Y aquí me va a dar 10 oraciones eh, dando 10 instrucciones acerca qué puede hacer para mejorar su salud. Por ejemplo, number one. Don't drink alcohol. Don't drink alcohol. Number two. Drink a lot of water. Number three, don't smoke. Number four, don't, don't eat. Puedes usar mis ejemplos. Okay. Fat food. Okay, quiero que me den 10 ejemplos, así con número y oraciones, así como las estoy haciendo yo con punto final al final. Repeat, don't drink alcohol. Repeat, don't drink alcohol. Don't drink alcohol. Everybody, repeat, everybody, don't drink alcohol. Don't drink alcohol. Don't drink, don't drink alcohol. alcohol. Don't drink, uh, drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of don't water. Don't drink a lot of water. No, drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't eat fast food. Don't eat fast food. All right, les voy a dar cinco minutos para que me den diez oraciones, empezando. Right now, tiene cinco minutos para terminar esta actividad. Let's go. Los voy a poner en pareja para que se ayude uno con el otro. All right, hello. Voy a poner a Carla Mejía con Carla Mend Carlos Méndez, eh, a Ceci con William, Elmer con Gladys, Carlos Avilés con Carlos Somoza, Ada Ramírez con David Buendía, Leticia va a trabajar con Leti, Abigail va a trabajar con Doris, Angel con Karen Chávez y Lidia con Mario Morán. Tienen cinco minutos y nos vamos. Hi, Doris. Hi, Abigail. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hey, what's up? How are you? Back in action. Me faltaron seis. 
Le faltaron seis oraciones, solo hizo cuatro. That's right. Eh, son cuatro para ustedes. Entonces es un regalito. Porque en teoría usted ah, okay. tiene que ser la diez. So, Vaya, Abigail. Estaba pensando yo en okay. eh, no automedicarse. Eh, ahí eh, el teacher, ¿cómo lo ponemos? No, o sea, como medicarse, no automedicarse. Ah, ok. Mm, sería don't, don't. self-medicate. Don't self don't medicate. Self medicate. Okay. Self medicate. Okay. Podríamos poner también terminar tratamiento. Ajá, no comer. Vamos a ver. Lo dejamos ese de no comer mucha pizza. Ajá, digo yo que dejemos. Oh, yo creo que pueden poner que este que dice eh, don't eat fast food, porque fast food encaja pizza, hamburgers, choripanes, mataniños, eh, pollo campero, hamburgers. O sea, fast food encaja todo. Yo creo que mejor pongan don't eat fast food o don't eat junk food. Fast food. Así como los ejemplos que les di. Ajá, fast food. Don't eat. Hola, hola. Hello, Elizabeth Ventura. Carlos Avilés. ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo está? Dígame. Ok, aquí estamos trabajando en la plataforma. Carlos Avilés, ¿estás allí? Sí, aquí estoy. Ok, trabajen sí, juntos, por favor. Eat breakfast. Solo dos palabras, ¿verdad? Dos palabras. Sí, Come desayuno. Ajá, o oh, ahí básicamente le está diciendo ¿Ya? desayuno. Ajá. Uh -huh. Veamos. Son 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Y también podríamos decir este, que haga ejercicio. Que haga ejercicio, me parece. Muy bien. ¿Qué sería? Eh, ¿Así? No, sí. S, F. Off. Off. Sí. ¿Así? Sí. Ok. No, no. Drink a no. lot of water. Ah, a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. I see it. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. I see. Ahí se lo mandé al 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 grupo al mensaje del chat del Zoom. Beber agua posterior. Gracias. All right. La otra es don smoke. No sé cómo pronuncia. Fumar es la, no fumar. No fumes. Sí. Smoke. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Smoke. 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 ¿Cuál otro? Don't eat fast food. Okay, don't eat fast food. Okay. ¿Qué más? Desvelarse, ¿cómo se dice? Manda. Desvelarse en inglés. Mm. 
No puedo más que irte en esa. En family. La ocho sería bañarte a diario. Ajá. También. Water dolly. Watch dolly. La ocho, la nueve sería lavarte las manos. Ajá, otro que había puesto yo es playing sport, practicar algún deporte. Wash your Jugar. hand. ¿Cómo? La watch your hand. ¿Me escucha? No, ahorita ya no, ya no fue. <ríe> eh, watch your hand. Ahorita sí, ya la escucha. Eh, watch your hands. Lávate las manos. Ajá, esa está bien también. Ahorita la coloco. ¿Cuál sería la 10? Eh, Lávate los dientes. Sí. Sí, sí, ahorita la voy a colocar. Bruce your teeth sería, ¿verdad? Bruce your teeth, sí. Bruce your teeth. Claro, que lo bien. Sería como la última, ¿eh? Ajá, la última. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Bruce your teeth. Bruce your teeth. Ahí lo subí. Va. El teacher pregunta, dígale que tengo el micrófono, me está fallando. Yo creo que es algún falso, el que tiene el perro. No, oye. Ah, por ratito se oye bien nítido y de repente se va a All right, all right, back in action like Jesse Jackson. ¿Todos terminamos? ¿Sí? Yes, ¿Al yes. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta o consulta sobre esta actividad? No. ¿Consulta o pregunta sobre esta actividad? ¿Somebody? No? ¿No questions? No. All right, no. now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move on to the next activity. Now, for the next activity, what I would like for us to do is we are going to be moving on and we're going to be looking at the next section, which is section 4.12. Knowledge check. Instructions. Read the article, then complete the sentences. Instrucciones. Lee el artículo, luego complete las oraciones. Number one. To get exercise. I eat breakfast. Protect your skin. Go for a walk. Stretch for five minutes. ¿Cuál es tu respuesta? To get exercise. Very good. Go for a walk. Para ejercitarme, ve para una caminata. Number two. To help your bones. Get enough calcium. Floss your teeth. Drink eight glasses of water every day. Stretch for five minutes. ¿Cuál es tu respuesta? Get enough calcium. Very good. Get enough calcium. Number three. To help your muscles protect your skin, stretch for five minutes, wear the seatbelt, go for a walk. What is your answer? Para ayudarte los músculos, stretch for five minutes, right? Stretch for five minutes. Tira el cuerpo por cinco minutos. To keep your gums healthy, protect your skin, take a time out, 
get enough calcium, floss your teeth. Para proteger tus encías, what do you do? Floss your teeth. Floss your teeth, perfect. Number five, to have energy for the morning, stretch for five minutes. For a eat walk, breakfast. eat breakfast, is correct. To challenge your brain, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Water helps your body in many ways. Do something different. Walking in good is good exercise. Do a crossword puzzle. Do a crossword puzzle. That's right. All right, everybody, please repeat after me one more time. To get exercise. All right, repeat one more time. To get exercise, go for a walk. To help your bones, get enough calcium. Everybody repeat. To help your muscles, Stretch for five minutes. Five minutes. To keep your gums healthy. To keep your gums healthy. Floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. To have energy for the morning. To have energy for the morning. Eat, eat, eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. To challenge your brain. To to challenge challenge your brain. Brain. Do a crossword puzzle. Do a crossword puzzle. Or read a book. Or read a book. Okay, does anybody have any questions referring to the vocabulary right here in this section? Questions, questions? No. Muscle. 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 That's right. All right, we're looking at section 3.0, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario sobre tiendas y otros lugares y discutirán dónde pueden conseguir cosas diferentes. Number one, vocabulary, places and things. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Now, what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and work on the discussion forum. Vamos a trabajar en la discussion forum. Aquí en la plataforma donde dice añadir una publicación, you're going to write your name. Después vas a escribir, por ejemplo, número uno. Eh, vamos a decir, por ejemplo, eh, puedes hacer una recarga en la tiendita. 
you can buy cell phone credit at the store. Eh, puedes comprar zapatos en Jaguar. You, number two, you can buy, pueden usar mis ejemplos, shoes at the Jaguar store. Eh, puedes comprar costillas en Price Mart. Number three. Price Mart. Puedes comprar pollo frito en pollo campero. You can buy fried chicken at pollo campero. All right, I want you to give me 10 examples, 10 ejemplos similar to my examples and then share them in the discussion forum. You have five minutes. Ready? Action. Five minutes. Los voy a poner en pareja para que se ayude uno con el otro. You can, you can buy. You can buy. Uh, Let me see. The preposition is at or on. At. At. You can at. buy an ice ice cream at, at. La Nevería. You can buy a, uh, ice cream at the Neveria. Ice cream. You can buy shoes. Uh, at the say, I, ice cream. Ice cream. In the Neveria. In the Neveria. Yeah. At the Neveria. Una dos sería como un chucán bye. Un chucán bye. Por ejemplo, shoes, digamos. You can buy shoes. You can buy shoes at the ad hoc. Un chucán no, solo, bueno, in ad hoc, digamos. Así escribe ad hoc, pues. Uh -huh. Ad hoc. In ad hoc. Entre sería. You can buy. Eh, you can buy. You can buy. A scissors. At the vidri. 
Eh, ¿Cómo me dijo? You can buy. You can buy a scissor, tijeras. A de vidri. ¿Cómo se dice? Scissor. S-I. S-I. Sí, espérame. Scissors. S-O-R-S. Scissors. S-I-S-O-R-S. Ah, scissors. In Detroit. A de vidri. Uh -huh. ah, sí. You can buy a, a pencil at the, at the library. Pencils and colors at the library. You can pencil less pencil, lapis, lapis. Lapis. Uh -huh. pencils okay. and, pencil. and colors oh, at, uh, at the pencil library. colors mm -hmm. at the office depot. My uh, favorite place uh, in office depot. You can buy a big LCD at the Siman. Uh, you can. You can buy a big mm -hmm. LCD at in Siman at Siman. Is mm -hmm. at buy. in or on in Siman? You can buy LCD, my LCD. LCD. Mm -hmm. Simán. Simán You can take you can you can take uh, you, can. you can take a class a class of English in on at English Corporativo. Uh, you can take. You can take a English class at in English Corporativo School. Pongámosle. No sé si es school. No sé qué es. English class. You can take an English class. You can at, take. At, actually, yeah. Tú puedes tomar clases de inglés en inglés corporativo. Mm -hmm. You can save money at the bank. You can say. Money at the bank. Eh, say, ¿cómo se escribe? Say. Save, S-A-V-E. Save the money at save. the bank. Save money at the bank. Money. Bank. All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Terminamos todos? Terminamos? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Yes. Si no ha terminado, le queda de tarea. All right. So we're going to be looking at section number 3.2. Knowledge check. Hola. Listen Hola. to the Anderson family's conversations and answer the question.
Teacher. Hey. No se escucha el audio. Oh, okay. Good. Can I go with... I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. 2. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. 3. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. 4. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad! All right. Everybody, please repeat. Where is Jane going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? Repeat, repeat, repeat. Everybody, repeat, repeat, repeat. Where is Jane going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? Where is Jane going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? All right. What does mom need from the supermarket? What does mom need from the supermarket? What does dad need from the drugstore? What does dad need from the drugstore? Where is Mike going to go with his dad? Where is Mike going to go with his dad? Is that to the drugstore to get a newspaper. To the drugstore. All right. All right. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this information? Do you have any questions referring to this information? Any questions? No questions? No. All right. No. Now, what I would like for us to do is we're going to be looking at the next section, which is going to be section 3.3, Lesson Objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound noun. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando estén diciendo sustantivos compuestos. Pronoun, compound nouns. Pronoun, compound nouns. Listen, please. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. All right, everybody repeat, please. Post office. 
everybody repeat please post office post office gas station gas station restroom coffee shop coffee shop drug store drug store supermarket Supermarket. Bookstore. Bookstore. Department store. Department store. All right. Listen, please. A noun equals a person a place or a thing so basically anything that you can see around you is a noun compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun for example the compound noun gas station gas the word by itself is a noun station is a noun Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is, whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, eh, no vamos a hacer la grabación del bookroo porque eso no les va a ayudar en su métrica de la plataforma, solo lo que quiero que hagan es aquí abajo, quiero que me den eh, las oraciones utilizando este vocabulario. Office. Por ejemplo, post office. ¿Qué puedo hacer en una post office? ¿Qué es algo que puedo hacer en una post office? ¿Qué se hace en una? Enviar una carta. That's right. So, aquí vamos a hacer, por ejemplo, eh, donde dice título, vas a poner tu nombre. Aquí vas a poner número uno. La primera palabra es post office. Y me dijeron que puedes mandar una carta en un post office. So, vas a poner you can send a letter at a post office. Puedes enviar una carta en un post office. All right. Number two. ¿Cuál es la siguiente? Gas station. ¿Qué puedes hacer en una gasolinera? Gas station. ¿Qué puedes hacer? ¿Comer pizza? No, poner gasolina. Ah, ok. Ponerle carro a tu vehículo. You. Recargar. Comprar una recarga. You can put gas in your car at a gas station. All right, esto les va a quedar de tarea. Me tienen que dar una oración. Son en total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 oraciones. Utilizando este vocabulario en una oración. Ya les di dos ejemplos. Ustedes me van a dar seis más. All right. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, guys. Take care.
see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye teacher. teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. <laughs> Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Hasta mañana, chicos y chicas. Salud. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Hasta luego.